Happy Easter, everybody. And I am in Hawaii, and I just got back from visiting with our brand president. Had an Easter message, had some foo foo, and it was really nice. And I thought I would take a minute to kind of talk about <clears throat> the resurrection, Easter, and maybe share one of my favorite verses in the Book of Mormon. And yeah, so today we, we had church. We had a one-hour service today, and we talked a lot about Jesus Christ, and it was a fasting testimony meeting today, and we got the chance to hear a lot from a lot of the members about their testimony of Jesus Christ. And <clears throat> for me, I've been studying lately in Jacob. I've been reading, rereading the Book of Mormon. This is my second time. I'm in Jacob. I've been kind of going kind of slow, but it's okay and I actually read in Jacob chapter 4 yesterday and it kind of talks about our Savior and I thought I would read a verse or two about it this is my Book of Mormon I received when I was eight years old so it's kind of special so this is in Jacob 4 verse 11 wherefore beloved brethren be reconciled unto him through the atonement of Christ, his only begotten Son, and ye may obtain a resurrection according to the power of the resurrection which is in Christ, and be presented as the first fruits of Christ unto God, having faith and obtained a good hope of glory in him before he manifested himself in the flesh. <clears throat> the reason that I like this scripture is because it talks about the atonement, and through the atonement we can be made perfect and have a resurrection. And for me, a lot of times, I don't realize how important the atonement is. Like, I just think, oh, I can just do my best to fix things. I, I'm, I can do it by myself. I don't need help from anyone. I can fix it. I like to fix things on my own. But this helps us know that the atonement and through Christ, we can fix things with Him. And He can make things whole. And that's something that is really important in my life because missions are not easy. Living is not easy. Life is not easy. <laughs> and we mess up every day. I know I do. A lot. And the only way that we have a chance to become perfected in Christ is through that atonement. I know that to be true. And I'm, I'm very grateful for my Savior, Jesus Christ, who he put his life... Oh my, he, he died for us, for you, for me. And through that, I know that I can be resurrected again and be made clean on this earth, <clears throat> be forgiven of my sins and repent each and every day. I'm very grateful for that. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And before I end, I just want to kind of update how things are going here. Hohoi is a small branch. We only had 50 members at the ward today, which is the most we've ever had since I've been here. <clears throat> we talked to the or to the mission president earlier this week. <clears throat> he said for us to make a branch up north, we have to have at least 90 members. So things are going slow. We have a lot of work ahead of us. It's going to be a lot of difficulty, but... Another thing, Jesus Christ will help us get through our difficulties. I know I'm having my own difficulties a lot. It's not easy. And through him, he can help us and guide us and make us strong. So I hope that's okay to share with you. And I love you guys so much. I think about you all the time. And I hope you had a good Easter. And don't be jealous. I had foo-foo with goats. <laughs> So yeah, I think let me see you guys. So happy Easter and I'll see you later. Love you.